choose the paintbrush. You could choose the pen, the pencil, whatever drawing tool you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to use the pencil or the paintbrush. I have it set for black and I have it set as a size 5.5. You can make yours smaller or bigger. I have it so it's feathering just a little bit so the edges will blur just a tiny bit. I'm going to make sure before I start drawing that I have a few keys already put into my bitmap layer and to make sure that uh, my red line is starting on the first frame so I can work through the progression correctly. Also, right now I have my frames per second at 5. I'm going to bump that up to 12. And over here under my display options for the onion skin, I have both the onion skin previous frame and the onion skin next frame turned on. You might find your onion skin options down here next to your keys. I have mine set over here underneath my color palette. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the first frame. I'm going to do a, just a quick demonstration of a, a ball bouncing as an animation. So I'm going to draw my first ball. Please excuse the crudeness of them. They are absolutely not perfect circles here. Now as I advance to the second frame, you'll see that that ball grays out just a tiny bit. That um, element of it graying out is where the onion skin can be very helpful. It essentially creates a layer as like a transparency so you can see beneath it to see what you have just um, previously drawn. This can help you guide your drawings through the canvas a little bit more accurately. So if I'm trying to get my bouncing ball to move down, I can watch the previous drawing as I move forward to guide where it was and allow me to continue to move that ball downwards or upwards, however, whatever direction you are moving your drawing in. I'm making pretty big jumps in between my frames, so my ball is going to move down really fast. Um, you can, for a smoother transition, make yours much closer to one another, so I could actually really come in nice and tight if I want it to be a smaller transition in, in its movement. But for today, I'm not too worried about that. I just want you to see um, how useful the onion skin can be. Now, I'm going to pretend like I'm down on my at the bottom of my animation. So I'm going to make my ball flatten out a little bit, pretend like it hit a ground. And I'm going to add just a couple more keys here so I can do just two more movements. Now that it's hit the ground, I'm going to move back up using my onion skin to guide my, my next drawing. Okay, so now if I rewind my animation back to the start, I'll show you at 12 frames per second what that movement looks like. I'll do it one more time. So you can see with the onion skin guide on, it allows you to continue to see what the movement would look like. Now if I turn them both off and rewind it, you'll just see the ball move and you won't see the onion skin frames. Um, but for your process of drawing, having that onion skin frame on um, is really helpful to guide you from one one spot to the next. So have fun with your drawing animation assignment and uh, experiment a little bit and see what happens.